The student convinced me to send him sexy pictures, some nude. He shared them with his friends, who then shared them with their friends. Pretty soon, they were all over the internet. I did not think that he would share confidential material like that because in my mind, this was a real relationship. And in real relationships, people don't do that kind of thing to hurt each other. You, you have some very specific allegations of what you think people need to consider. The student would scribble love notes on post-its and leave them on her desk, called her his empress. Now, you make that point because you're saying this was him initiating contact with you, initiating this moving to a romantic level with you. Your point is you didn't like go after him. He came after you. Correct. The student has a very educated mind and twisted her brain into accepting a relationship with him. She and the student sat in a parked car and started making out and touching, and he was the sole initiator of that. Yes, he was always the sole initiator of all things okay. physical. Uh, the student would occasionally come into her classroom and try kissing her, and she would try to push him away. I never wanted that to happen. And he would always try and push all of the limits, all of them. In the classroom? In the classroom. And he'd I, close the door, everybody go out, he'd come in, close the door. He would grab me in his arms and he tried kissing me and he tried doing a lot more stuff and I kept having to push, push, push him away. Eventually I just gave in to the kissing. Were you offended by it or did you react to it positively? I mean, did, how, how did you respond? I mean, physical intimacy when, when you like a person, especially, there's a physiological response that happens. So it's not like I asked to enjoy it. But you did. Well, yeah, I mean. How did all of this happen about exchanging pictures? He thought it would be sexy. I don't know what was going through his brain. He thought it would be cool, bragging rights. I don't know, to have me send him these pictures. Bragging rights. To his friends. I know, right? I know. I know. So you think he, this through and you say, okay, the reason that he would want these is to show his friends. No, 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 no. no. Bragging that, rights. That came, that you said about, bragging rights. Yes. But that came about afterwards. I'm saying that's what was probably going through his mind. I didn't think that he was going to share them with his friends. Because in my mind, if you're in a real relationship, you don't just run around with your phone saying, hey, look, 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 everybody, look how hot my so, girlfriend is. So you're sending naked pictures, a teacher, sending naked pictures of herself to a 17-year-old boy. What could possibly go wrong here? <laughs> you have to remember, you have to remember, in my mind, during this whole thing, his age was erased in my mind. I mean, looking back at that now, I think, oh my God, like, what, what was I thinking? What was I doing? You have got but to be dumber than a box of rocks <laughs> to send naked pictures to a 17-year-old boy. And what did he do with them? Well, obviously he showed his friends. 